Hello everyone, my name is Jack Edwards and welcome finally to Off The Rails, my brand new interrail travel vlogging series. We actually went on this trip ages ago now, I think it was the 24th of July to the 17th of August, but I've had so many technical difficulties in getting this series up, but finally it's here and I'm so excited to be able to share it with you. I actually posted a trailer for the whole series um, last week. You might not have seen it and here's why. Basically the video was blocked on mobile devices on copyright grounds because the song I used, um, you couldn't share on mobile devices, which is so annoying. So. If you want to see this uh, trailer and see what's to come for the rest of the coming weeks, then head on over to a computer or a laptop and you'll be able to watch it on my channel there. In the meantime, however, this is episode one and I'd like to quickly introduce you to the people who are on this trip alongside me because you're gonna be seeing quite a lot of them. Firstly, we have Ed. Ed went through a bit of an identity crisis on this trip. Uh, in Starbucks, they called him Pat, um, which sounds nothing like Ed and one of our um, apartment hosts called him Med because he introduced himself as Hi, I'm Ed and she thought his name was Med, had to be there moment I think. Next up we have Liam, fun facts about Liam, he has a white birthmark in his hair just here um, which is really cool I think and he also burned himself on a kettle on our very first night in Paris so he now has a nice big scar down his arm, the rest of us came home with magnets and that sort of thing, bottle openers as souvenirs, and instead he came home with a massive scar. <laughs> then we have Callum. Now you might notice that Callum is actually absent in this first video because he wasn't in Paris. <laughs> Basically, Callum was in America with his family um, when we set off on our trip. So he joined us in Paris, flew from Denver to Paris. So he arrives in tomorrow's vlog. Um, but in the meantime, we have Aoife. Now Aoife joined us just for Paris. You might recognize her from my Washington DC vlog, um, which if you haven't seen, I will link down below. Yeah, so Aoife is a really good friend of all of ours and really wanted to go to Paris. So we said, come with us. Um, so she stayed with us for the first few days. So what you're about to see is day one of Paris, which was our first destination. From there, we went to Munich, then Ljubljana, Lake Blanc, Led, Budapest, Vienna, Sesky Kromlov, Prague, Berlin, Amsterdam, and then back to London. So this is going to be an action-packed couple of weeks. These vlogs are going to be going up at 6 p.m. every weekday for the foreseeable future for as long as I can keep it up. I'm really excited to finally be able to share these videos with you um, and share this incredible trip with you as well. So Without further ado, welcome to day one, welcome to Paris, and welcome to Off The Rails. Cue some French sounding music and a montage of Parisian looking things. <laughs> We arrived in Paris last night. Um, Ed and I got here at about nine o'clock and we're just walking along the river. Um, over there <laughs> is where we want to be. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> Need to go across the bridge to, to get there. Don't mind us just losing our goddamn minds because you can walk through the middle of the bridge. This is so exciting. What in tarnation. Bridge. Hey Aoife, do you know what they call the people who sell locks on bridges like this? What? Locky locky men? <laughs> We've come to the Musée d'Orsay. Aoife, yes. what do you all say? It's oh. awesome. Oh! That was better than mine, I'm a bit annoyed. No looking at food. <laughs> Guys, look, it's that thing. Wow. Yeah, I'm still too awkward with the whole vlogging in museums thing um, to show my face right now, but we're on our way to try and find a giant clock that I saw on Instagram. Well, I can confirm that is one big clock. Compensating for something, maybe? Who cares when we have a... So, we have just been to the Musée d'Orsay um, and we've also been to La Orangerie. However, um, I couldn't speak while I was in there because it was so silent and I thought I'd look like an absolute idiot if I was just like explaining what was right in front of me to a camera. So, I did film bits and I'll overlay them here. So, La Orangerie is basically a, an art exhibition filled with Monet's paintings, um, his water lily prints, um, they're just beautiful. Um, obviously really, really famous pieces. 
Um, and really, I'd just like someone to be as obsessed with me as Monet was with water lilies because boy was he obsessed. Also, it is worth noting that both the Musée d'Orsay and Orangerie were free for us because we're EU students and I believe the Louvre is free for us too. Um, obviously making most of it while we can, um, but it is really great um, and so so far today hasn't really cost us a penny apart from what we've uh, bought in food, so I thoroughly recommend, um, yeah. Lot Orangerie, completed it mate. We've just stumbled upon a lock bridge, um, I feel like this is very Parisian, um, but I can't help but wonder how many of these couples are now broken up. Well, that was pessimistic. So we came to get some lunch and accidentally wandered into the most expensive part of Paris. So we've had to be those British tourists who go to prep <laughs> when you're abroad. Yes. 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 OMFG, it's the Louvre. Well guys, I guess you could say that we like to Louvre it, Louvre it. That's definitely gonna be the title of the video. I love how these buses are just called the open tour. It's like accommodating for the British tourists. Wow, ceiling gold. I'm a ceiling fan. We've just found the uh, Mona Lisa, which I'm quite surprised by because I thought that the Louvre was just a French word for toilet. Cool, that's the money shot. made it to Notre Dame and can I just say Notre Dame that is a nice building I think you can actually go inside but have you seen that queue sorry the old Jack can't come to the phone right now why oh because he's an idiot and deleted the next clip where I explained what we were doing here I am to do that. <laughs> so after visiting all the art galleries and the Notre Dame, we decided to go for a little walk. I had seen on Instagram, which is where I got most of my kind of travel inspiration for this trip from, um, that there's this kind of shopping centre in Paris with a viewing platform on top, which gives you this view of all the Paris rooftops with the Eiffel Tower kind of in the distance. And it's meant to be like beautiful. All the pictures looked amazing. So we decided we'd go up there to watch the sunset. Um, we walked about... 35 minutes I'd say to get to <laughs> this shopping center and it was closed for renovations they were uh, had lots of scaffolding on the viewing platform and it wasn't open to the public so all of my friends kind of wanted to kill me <laughs> and I felt absolutely terrible and so then Liam suggested that we headed to the Sacre Coeur um, which we kind of did begrudgingly because it was another like 45 minute walk from where we were um, but we did it and we walked up all of the steps as you can see here oh my god <laughs> this is a lot of steps <laughs> see you at the top <laughs> But getting to the top of the Sacre Coeur was so worth it. It was beautiful up there. Um, you get this most, the most incredible kind of panoramic view over Paris. Um, and with the sun setting, there was a guy playing um, acoustic guitar, um, doing covers of some really cracking songs. And uh, it was just such a nice evening and people were just drinking beer and Oh, it was so nice, one of those evenings that you'll just never forget. However, the night was still young and we really wanted to make the most of our time in Paris, so we went um, and sat by the River Seine, which we'll see in a minute. Um, luckily, no one pushed me in, otherwise I would have gone insane. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, roll the clip. Thank you. Hello, some time has passed um, and all my cameras died, so the last little bit of our trip was not documented. Basically, we left our apartment this morning at about 10 o'clock uh, in the morning, in the a.m. and then returned home at 9 in the p.m. Uh, and walked basically everywhere. So we're knackered, um, but we've come down to the River Seine. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Um, just having a Bonjour. beverage. Um, <laughs> by the river. I was really nice as people sitting all along like drinking and like some people just playing guitar which I wish I was cool enough to do. Um, and the reason that we are sitting out here by the river um, drinking just in public in the early hours of the morning is because we're not allowed to talk in our apartment. We've got an Airbnb and yesterday Liam and Aoife were told off for um, 
banging, we didn't have a can opener, so they were banging a tin can with what? A screwdriver? Yeah, with, with, yeah. with a screwdriver, um, which obviously makes quite a lot of noise, and the neighbours kind of complained, so instead, because uh, we didn't want to get kicked out of our Airbnb because we thought that would be a bit of a disaster. So we've just come to the river. So we're just drinking here um, and talking in actual, you know, voices so we can actually hear each other. Um, so we'll be here for a little while. <laughs> we are just walking back to our Airbnb. Um, it's in this really creepy apartment block. Um, it's 2.30 in the morning. Uh, this is terrifying. Hopefully see you on the flip side.